What's going on everybody, Crease Monster here. A lot of my videos have been looking at games by how easy or how much gamer score they have, but we've never really taken a look at the quality of the games. In this video, we're going to take a look at the top 10 best games available on Xbox Game Pass. This list is going to be entirely based on my opinion, so if there's games missing or in an order that you don't agree with, be sure to let me know in the comments below what I should be playing. Xbox Game Pass has over 300 games available to download and play, with everything from indie games to AAA titles and everything in between. For this list, I'll just be ranking the top games that I enjoy playing. If you have your own top 10 list for best Game Pass games, leave a list in the comments. I'll also be trying to limit the list to one game per series. Let's get started. Honorable Mentions Destroy All Humans Minds like mud. This planet is easy pickings. Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Gang Beasts. It's death. Come get me. Come get no, me, no. Satan. No. Come get me. Come get me. Man Eater. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Number 10, Human Fall Flat. Hour. Human Fall Flat is a physics-based puzzle game that you can play either solo, or with up to two players locally, or up to eight players online. The game and its puzzles can be difficult at times due to the clunky controls and ragdoll characters, but with all that being said, it can still be a super fun experience, especially with friends. I've actually got a video of me and my friend getting all the achievements that you can click on here. Definitely a fun game to kill the time with some buddies. Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number 9, Slime Rancher. Here's an example of my opinion probably overriding a typical top 10 list. Slime Rancher is an incredibly fun game. It's sort of a mix between Harvest Moon and Viva Pinata. This game is super unique and very enjoyable if you're into farming and management games. It's also not too hard to unlock all the achievements for it, and it should take you around 30 hours to complete. The only issue with this game is that there isn't a ton of replayability after you beat the game and unlock all achievements, but the journey to that point is still a lot of fun. Number 8, Sea of Thieves. This game is skeletons. How do I... <laughs> An open world pirate RPG that you can play with up to three other friends online Sea of Thieves comes in at number 8 on the list. If the current game was in the same state that it released in, Sea of Thieves would not be on the list at all. But Rare has done a great job on improving mechanics, upgrading gameplay, and adding new exciting content. The most recent of which brings Jack Sparrow and the Pirates of the Caribbean universe into the game. Captain Jack Sparrow. But I suspect you already knew that. You can spend lots of hours with friends sailing the seas and searching for treasure without even noticing how long you've been playing. I've also got a couple of videos of this game on my channel if you'd like to check them out now. Oh, there's so many snakes. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> Number 7, Doom Eternal. And with him lies our salvation. Rip and Tear. Doom is one of the godfathers of S FP <laughs> Doom is one of the godfathers of FPS gaming, and Doom Eternal may be their best installation to date. If you've never played Doom before, I'll give you a brief rundown. The Doom franchise is centered around one unstoppable demon killing character, the Doom Slayer, an ex-marine who has his family killed by demons, who then proceeds to kill all demons invading Earth, and then going to hell to kill more. Doom Eternal takes place on an earth that's overrun with demons. The Doom series as a whole is incredibly violent, gory, and awesome. You'll have tons of fun if being brutal is your kind of style to play. Number 6, Forza Horizon 4. The Forza Racing series is one of the top racing games of all time. While Forza Motorsport focuses on just racing, the Horizon series is an open world adventure, with hundreds of different cars to collect, countless roads to explore, and tons of different races to compete in. 
Forza Horizon 4 has been a lot of fun for me to turn on and play after any sort of stressful situations or long days, as it's super relaxing to drive around in gorgeous cars in beautiful scenery. You can also tailor the difficulty of the game to decide what kind of experience you'd like to have. I definitely recommend installing this game and taking it for a spin. Number 5. Minecraft mm, Sea monster! Ew, terrifying! You most likely don't need me to explain this game much. Minecraft is the most selling video game of all time and for good reason. I can't think of any other game where it is easier to spend 8 or more hours at a time and not even notice it. Creating and exploring a world with friends has been some of the most fun I've had while gaming. If you somehow haven't played Minecraft yet, I'd highly recommend it. I also have a video of some Minecraft Let's Plays on my channel. Going back to the temple, maybe there's something else there. Uh, no, just dead. Ow. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> Number four, Fallout New Vegas. Fallout is one of the best open world RPGs to exist, and I believe that New Vegas is the best game of the series. Wandering through the Mojave Desert, Mojave? Wand wandering through, wandering through the Mojave Desert, fighting off Deathclaws, Cazadors, and mutants, you must find the assassin who tried to kill you while also being thrust into a massive war for control over the New Vegas Strip. With hundreds of missions, countless enemies, and an incredible storyline, if you're going to play any Fallout game, make sure it's this one. Number 3, The Elder Scrolls, Skyrim. Their tongue is Dovahkiin. Skyrim has a legitimate case for being the best video game ever created. It's that good. If you haven't played or don't know the plot, Skyrim follows the Dovahkin, who is a being born with dragon blood but in a human body, on their quest to destroy the dragon Alduin, also known as the World Eater. There's so many quests and side quests, this game has thousands of hours of adventuring to unfold. If you somehow haven't played Skyrim yet and enjoy open worlds, RPGs, magic, or dungeon crawlers, this is absolutely the game for you. Number 2, Fable 1 and Fable 2. I never open on the first page. This one is going to be the most debatable on the list. Many of you may disagree or might not have ever heard or played any of the Fable games, but trust me on this, this is one of my favorite games of all time and honestly might be number one. I couldn't choose between one and two, so I put both of them here, which may be cheating, but it's my list so I can do what I want. Fable 3 is also on Game Pass, and although it is still a great game, it's not as good as the first or second. Fable is one of the best games ever created, and many RPGs and open world adventure games have taken concepts that Fable perfected and used them in their games going forward. Quirky, fun, and just an all around magical experience, I can't recommend enough to play Fable. Oh, what was that? Oh, yuck. Number 1 Mass Effect 2. Weird War. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. One very specific man might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. Mass Effect 2 is a masterpiece of a video game. The Mass Effect series is an open world space RPG where the fate of the entire universe will be decided by your efforts and decisions throughout the games. Every Mass Effect title is on Game Pass so I'd recommend playing from the beginning at Mass Effect 1 all the way to 3. 
as your character and choices will affect the entire storyline of the following game. Mass Effect 2 is so much of a variable that it can end with you saving your entire crew and completing your mission successfully or dooming them all to dramatic deaths. There's thousands of hours of content available throughout these titles, but I believe Mass Effect 2 is the crown jewel of the series and Xbox Game Pass in general. Do yourself a favor and play this series. You won't be disappointed. Well, maybe with Mass Effect 3's ending. There you have it, the top 10 games that are available on Xbox Game Pass. Keep in mind this list is entirely my opinion, and the video was made in July of 2021, so certain games may be added or removed to affect this list, depending on when you watch it. Let me know what games you agree and disagree with in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to become a member of our awesome community. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Slayer.